Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Awuwa where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we'll find out how to check if a third-party charger is compatible with your smartphone, if non-gaming apps support bypass charging, and if the ROG Ally supports display output via USB-C. Sophie, cue the intro. Starting off this episode of AWA is a question regarding mobile chargers. What to do if my phone charger goes missing? How to know if a third-party charger is compatible or not? The easiest, simplest and most straightforward solution is to purchase the first-party charger that came with your smartphone from the smartphone manufacturer. This is because most smartphone manufacturers use proprietary charging standards like Oppo's SuperWook, Honor's SuperCharge and Realme's SuperDart Flash Charge to name a few. Samsung and Google meanwhile use the USB power delivery or PD charging technology based on the USB-C standard. You can still use third-party chargers with smartphones with proprietary charging standards. It's just that you may not be able to charge the smartphone at its highest rated charging speed. Most third-party chargers on the market today use the USB PD charging standard and many modern smartphones, even those that use proprietary charging standards, support USB PD charging. For example, the Oppo Find X5 Pro supports 80W SuperVoke charging but can still fast charge when connected to a USB PD charger. My 5-year-old Samsung Galaxy Note 9 also supports USB PD up to 18W, but it is the older 2.0 version. However, you don't have to worry too much about this as the newer USB PD 3.1 version is backwards compatible with older versions. But Generally, if there's a mismatch of fast charging protocols between the phone and the charger, the charging speed will default to 10 watts. For context, the 4000 mAh battery of my Note 9 takes around 2 hours for a full charge at 10 watts. So, a rule of thumb when searching for a third-party charger for your smartphone is to match the power output of the charger to the power output of the first-party charger. For example, my Galaxy Note 9 needs a power input of 5 volts and 3 amps, which equals to 18 watts, to support USB PD charging, or 9 volts and 1.67 amps, which equals to 15 watts for Samsung's adaptive fast charging. However, it won't fast charge if the input is 9 volts and 2 amps, even though this also produces 18 watts. If you're still unsure if the charger will work with your smartphone, then you can always try out chargers used by family members or friends and buy the one that works with your smartphone. Sticking with the topic of smartphones, we have a question regarding the Nubia Neo 5G. If I'm not playing a game, can I still use bypass charging or not? In order to use bypass charging on the Nubia Neo 5G, you have to be running an app, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a gaming app. But unlike the other phones that I've tested with bypass charging like the ROG Phone 6, Black Shark 5 and Galaxy S23 Ultra, bypass charging on the Nubia Neo 5G continues working even after you exit the app. With the other phones that I mentioned, bypass charging will be turned off until you return to the app. However, bypass charging works through the phone's gaming software or game center. So, using this Nubia Neo 5G as an example, you will need to enter game space and add the apps that you want to use with the gaming features. Once added, launch the app and you'll be able to access the gaming tools. In the case of this Nubia Neo 5G, that would be a swipe from the top left or right side of the screen. Look for the bypass charging toggle and turn it on. Once you've toggled it on, you can exit the app and bypass charging will continue to run with an accompanying notification. To charge the battery, just click on the notification to turn off bypass charging. Do note that the Nubia Neo 5G as well as the other phones that I mentioned won't let you toggle bypass charging until you've plugged in the phone's charger or a PD charger. That said, I've been told that the Infinix GT10 lets you toggle bypass charging without a charger plugged in and activates the feature when you plug the phone into a power outlet. Do note that not all apps will be detected by the phone's gaming software and it varies from phone to phone. For example, Google Chrome cannot be added to the gaming software of the Nubia Neo 5G but can be added to the ROG Phone 5's gaming software, Armory Crate. Speaking about ROG, we have another question regarding the ROG Ally for this episode. 
Can I just use a USB-C cable to connect the ROG Ally to a monitor? You can indeed connect the ROG Ally to a supported external monitor using a USB-C cable as the port is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort 1.4 support. But there are some things you need to consider. For one, there's only one USB-C port on the ROG Ally and it is also the charging port. So if you're planning on using the ROG Ally for long periods of time to game with your external monitor or get the best performance out of it, then you will need to connect it to power as well. If the USB-C port on your monitor also supports power delivery or PD of at least 30 watts, then you should be good to go. But if it doesn't support PD charging or doesn't have a USB-C display input, then you will need to get a USB-C dock. However, not all USB-C docks are built equally. Most USB-C docks with an HDMI port on the market are capped at 4K at 30 frames per second or 1440p at 60 frames per second. To output 4K at 60 frames per second, you will need to make sure that it is explicitly written under the specifications for that USB-C dock that it supports 4K at 60 frames per second. Then, you will need to check if the USB-C dock supports at least 30 watt PD pass-through, which means you connect the PD charger to the dock and it passes the power through to the ROG Ally. Well, that concludes our episode for today. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next Awoowa! Bye-bye! Thank you.